and here we go. Alright, yeah, I've been playing, I've been playing it to try it out. I've gone too, I got gone far, but if you want to see uh, the beginning of the, the beginning of it, please tell me in the comments below. And, alright, here you go. All right, Selene. I told you how this began. Now tell me why. How do I stop Deimos if I'm dead? Your body is dead, but your mind remains alive. I'm connected through your direct you neural this? interface in your subconscious. To save humanity, you must open the portal. With your body gone, the only way to do this is to train your mind. Train my mind? Relive there, the events was, preceding so your I can lives. hear it better. Only then can you alter them, change them. <laughs> this... Now this is insane. Let me show you. <clears throat> Think back to when you first met Taylor. Oh gosh. Alright, here I go. Yes. Is, this is part of the campaign, but it's not because they're all zombies instead. In the campaign, they're humans, but Nightmare Mode, they're zombies. And yes, I'm not playing online. I'm playing with a bot, and, it, and it's fun. Yes, it's, you can change the difficulty to normal, hard, or challenging. And... Great. Yes, I have to kill all of the horde of zombies. And if you didn't hear me earlier, I said that if you want to see the very beginning of this, uh, tell me in the comments. Hello, please. How did I get down here? Oh. And... There you go. You're up. You're away. Yay. How many, where are the zombies? Oh, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Question mark? Five, six. Yay. All the zombies are dead. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, sorry for that silence. Yay. I'll take it. Any more zombies? Oh. Yay. Easy. Where are they? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Fun, but it's also hard at the same time. Hey. 
and it's kind of like regular zombies, but it's kind of not like regular zombies. Okay, there's like zombies and a robot, and you're, you're the, there's like you and the AI. Oh, okay. Yes, you can get guns off the zombies. Just in case you're wondering if, where I'm just doing the gun. Where's my objective? Oh, this is. Hello? Here we go, to the next spot. Alright. I wonder where I'm gonna go now. I don't trust this area. Oh, I guess I should. The Qatardis group had planted a biochemical bomb containing 6115 on a maglev train. They were going to detonate it in downtown Zurich. Their plan was to turn the whole city as we feared. Taylor said there wasn't much time, but I'd done good. For all the on-the-job training I'd been through, I'd done all right for myself. All that was left was to find the train. Good. You didn't even need my push to the final memory. You connected events and arrived at the truth. And now what happens? Now we set things okay. right. Through your mind, you realign the events as they occur. And by doing this... Alright, let's go. Up here? No. Oh, I can't see that. Oh yeah, I remember where I go. It's in the same thing. So if you're wondering... Whack, whack. Yay! I don't want any more robot reviews coming out. Die, zombie. I don't want you, zombie. I don't want you, robot. Yes, you can shoot the heads off the robot. Get out of here. Where is that? Gun, gun, gun. Up here, I remember going up. Up here, going down. Get your shotgun. Go down. Run over here. Jump. Go up here. Run, kill. Also, pay attention to the right to Spawn up and right to the and it's not there so that it can happen.
Do the same thing. I found the bomb car. The whole thing was wired up, primed to blow. There, there wasn't time. I couldn't disarm it. So what did you do? Remember how we can't get infected? Some of the rumors about us were true. That's why I was there. Why we make the sacrifice. I use my cybernetic abilities to reverse the polarity of the train car and attach it. The car unleashed the gas. It's safe outside the city. And you lived? I didn't know I'd make it at the time. But I turned out all right. It wasn't the last time I cheated death. No. No, 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 no. I remember this place. What are they doing to me? Dr. Salim, what am I seeing? Taylor? Why can't I move? You must let this go. Stay with me. Relax. Come back to me. Come back to the void. Is that oh, it's my brother. Can you hear me? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm back. All right, wait for you. I'm ready to continue. Good. Now that you've begun conditioning, let's return to Oh, yeah, to please don't mind the noises that are going After on around. After Coriasm's collapse. Especially you were trapped like what's in Singapore. With quarantine zones unlocked all over the world, we couldn't raise WA command. If we were going to escape, we had to improvise. We turned to the 54 immortals. They were dangerous and unpredictable, All right. but they were no enemy of ours. Hendrix trusted them? What choice did we have? If we wanted out of Singapore, we had to go through the biodomes. We had to go through the immortals. <sighs> so what's going to happen next? In this, I'm going to do the whole playthrough, and then... I uh, yes, and whoever wants me wants me to like go back to like read getting in was them. easy. I'll do it. Getting out would be another matter entirely. Not At the time, the biodomes were the safest place to be. With the outbreak of 2060, the immortals seized the marina and dug in. The biodomes were impenetrable, dead proof. Hendrix had a contact, Danny Lee. He was slimy as I come, but he could get us transport. Not only that, Taylor had beaten us out of the biodomes. And Danny claimed to know where he was heading. They had this information. Danny was convinced Gojulan had info on her central server. They were doing us a solid, really. But that didn't come cheap. They wanted food, water, weapons, reinforcements from the Winslow Accord. We agreed to their terms with no idea if we could honor it. The immortals were a people of their word and quite efficient in punishing those who did not act the same. Danny was in a bad mood. The immortals weren't exactly happy to see us. They knew our part in what had happened in Coalescence. Danny went so far as to accuse us of opening the containment zones ourselves. Oh, okay then. Hendrix persuaded him otherwise. But that didn't change how I felt. We were there. We had our chance to stop Diaz in the server room. You cannot blame yourself for what is out of your control. There were powers in play far greater than your own. Poor person. Powers with far more control. You were a pawn in his game. You mean Deimos? Well, as it turns out, we weren't his only pawns in the room. How do you mean? You can get us a ride out? Sure, I'll give you that. But claiming to know where Taylor was? Know that saying, too good to be true? Something was wrong. That's a lot there was something of, malevolent, that's a lot of, malicious. That's a lot of ketchup. I called Danny out. I wasn't too happy with that. But then again, we assumed he was just scared. The outbreak now occurring worldwide was unprecedented. We were all scared. Up till now, we'd become complacent. 
We got comfortable. The dead had stayed in their cage, and we kept pretending nothing had happened. Taylor and Diaz changed that. Pandemonium, riots, civil war, countries were already tearing themselves apart, in many cases before the dead even reached them. Danny wasn't scared. Oh, who's fine? There are people. I don't know how the undead got in. A forgotten open thing. gate. A child's mistake. A poorly nailed board over a window. Yay! It didn't matter. I'll take this. It was spreading fast. We were already outnumbered 20 to 1. The remaining humans scrambling away. We locked in their homes. Oh no, there's a the That familiar screech. Parasites, mutated creatures born out of 6115 were flying towards us.
five robots. Where are the robots coming from? I kind of doubt it. I have the robot. Okay, I feel kind of low here. Oh. Yeah. So all the zombies. Oh, more person. You keep on hitting the robot. I feel bad for them. Black Ops 3, name your, what's your favorite gun out on any of them? Because I want to know. Because I like all guns, but except for the weak ones. Like, I, don't, I don't know if this is really bad. Because it kind of takes a while. Like that. My favorite weapon is the shotgun. Because it's kind of like a. You go like that. Like that. Like that. That. With the shipping yard clear, Cloud Mountain was just ahead. The server room at the top. We had a long climb ahead of us. There's a minigun. I want that minigun. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the mini gun. For a Take it.
Chester. What was that? Go rap. Kill you. Kill this one. Kill you. What? Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. Oh, if you heard that, that was my cat. Push it in the zombie. Okay, I'll take this. What happened in the server room? Mm. By the time we got there, Gojulan encrypted her hardware, locking us out of the central server. Hendrix stepped in, but we were a few seconds too late. Damage was oh done. God. Why did she lock you out? It didn't make any sense. Sure, we weren't on the best of terms, but this wasn't her. Something else made her do it. Something was controlling her. <sighs> the encryption used a biometric hand scan. Hendrix tried to unlock it. But the Go siblings were smart. They'd set up an access system requiring both of their hands for authorization. And her brother was shredded with bullets back in the bar. We could hear the horde coming. And we only had one sibling. But she did have two hands. You chose to cut off her hand. Why? I hoped the biometrics were interchangeable, allowing the siblings to use either reader. If we were calling transport and getting out alive, it had to work. Lucky for us, it did. Hendrix interfaced with the system. Okay. He was able to raise WA command. We needed a ride out ASAP. 
They had a VTOL a few minutes out. Rendezvous was set for the top of the dome. But Hendrix wanted to know what Gojulan had on Taylor. Anything, even the smallest detail, could be helpful in picking up his trail. Now it takes some time. And time was something we didn't have. Hendrix searched the archives. I dealt with the incoming horde. Oh. I wish I ever chose this gun. Hendrix had pulled all the data he could. I hoped it was enough. Our pickup was in position. It's time to get the hell out of here. Our bird wasn't alone in the sky. Our VTOL had caught the attention of an old automated rake. We needed to find another way. No. It's like. Who wants to get out of here? This rake telling you. It was like the malfunctioning robot you found in different quarantine zones. The kind targeting anything and everything as an enemy. Just like that. Except on a much larger, more dark sky. And this one was very interested in us. Command had an exit route. Extraction set beyond the swamps. If we crossed the super trees, there were shipping docks where we could commandeer an airport. Between the flesh eaters and that wraith eyeing us, the super trees would be no walk in the park. We had to haul ass and stay out of sight. But they weren't our only concern. Winslow Accord picked up chatter ahead. Apparently, we weren't the only humans using the docks to escape. They weren't our only concern. Winslow Accord picked up chatter ahead. 
Apparently, we weren't the only humans using the docks to escape. We had to haul ass and stay out of sight. But they weren't our only concern. Winslow Accord picked up chatter ahead. Apparently, we weren't the only humans using the dogs to escape. The super tree was collapsing. The only safe route to the docks was up. 
Chatter confirmed that 54 immortals were scrambling to get out of the biodomes through the swamps. From the sound of it, they wanted us dead as much as the flesh eaters did. It looked like we were jumping from one bad situation into another. Hendrix commandeered an airboat and set the autopilot. We had undead on our ass and more 54i ahead. And that rogue wraith wasn't done with us yet. Sixty-one fifteen wouldn't stop this time. The Winslow Accord and CDP had been thrown into chaos. We'd lost Hong Kong, Berlin, and Cairo, and it was just getting started. What would come next? How the world would change? There was no way to be ready for that. Five years, five long dark years. Opening the quarantine zones did exactly as we feared. And by 2075, what was a contained situation gave way to anarchy. Humanity's numbers had been reduced to a few hundred mil scattered across the globe. The undead had risen to seven. What? Our target was Qatari's colony. They'd taken over a refinery. 
It was a well-armed facility protecting them from the dead oh, the Top priority was to cut off their comms and leave them in the dark. But first, we had to clear out their defenses. This was a routine sweep. Every time another sympathizer colony sprouted up, we'd squash it back down. As far as we were concerned, we were doing the world a favor. We moved on the array, Aww. but the undead sympathizers weren't going down without a fight. Support detail needed a few moments to disable the array. Lucky for me, I had more hostiles to keep me occupied. Disabling the comms would take some time. Our support detail dealt with that. I dealt with reinforcements. Okay. I want this. Oh. 
Station disabled, we had to get back to our bird. Where did he come from? The array was ahead. Nothing. Bring it down, we'd be one step closer to eradicating this colony. I see you good. Tom's disabled, we needed to get back in the air.
Let me stop taking. Go this way. With their comms jammed, the next step was to breach the control room to take back the facility. There was access ahead. I just needed to get through the flooded room in front of me. Our support detail insisted on coming with. When you were swimming, something went wrong. Our DNI. There was a malfunction. What did you see? I. I saw. I was drowning. I, th I thought I heard. This is not your time. Get back up. Do not trust him. Everything is not what it seems. What did you hear? I... nothing. I couldn't make it out. Get... up. Then I woke up. Someone pulled me out of the water. Someone saved me. Saved you? A guardian angel. Someone watching over me. My support detail. She got through somehow and, and pulled me out. She brought me back from the brink. She said it wasn't my time. My work wasn't done. I had to stop Taylor. I don't know how she knew. It didn't make any sense. Did you know her? This woman? No. I'd never worked with her before today. And yet she knew about Taylor. She knew about what happened. And you're sure she was there? What? Why? You think I made her up? You yourself said your DNI systems were malfunctioning. What? You gonna tell me I'm crazy next? I know what I saw. I did not okay. make her up. I didn't fucking imagine her. Did she have a name? Of course she had a fucking name. The Guardian Angel. She said... She said her name was Kane. She told me she'd help me get through this. She said we had to move. Control was beyond a server room ahead. If we were going to take the refinery from these dead sympathizers, we needed to clear it out. If we couldn't, it would be on to Plan B. Plan B? Plan bomb this shithole to hell. <laughs> That was funny. What? So, do I hit that? No. Do I go here? Do I shoot it? No. no. Oh. We prepped to breach, but it turns out our enemies planned ahead. The explosion blocked our path. We had to double back. It caught us off guard. But the noise also caught the undead's attention. We regrouped with our allies. That's Egyptian Army Lieutenant Ziad Khalil, friend of ours. He was durable, seasoned. He defended his home through undead wars. He wouldn't go down without a fight. What was the plan? Khalil would move on control from the exterior. I'd sweep the dead from the air. Our guardian <gasps> angel accompanied me. She... She told me the answer to finding Taylor was on this refinery. Why she thought that? How she knew that? It was surreal.
hit. When Khalil took the control room, he found something on the security footage. Something we needed to see. Taylor. Like seeing a ghost. We... we just stumbled upon him. This wasn't just a Cotardis colony. This was Taylor's hideout. They were already evacuating Taylor. We locked down the facility, separating Taylor and his associate, Moretti. Who did you go after? It was too late for Taylor. The Cotardas put him on a VTOL. We go after him already. Command informed us the kill order was still active. Hendricks didn't like that. But it wasn't his call. How did you feel about it? Five years. Five years after our fuck-up and we could fix it. I'd gladly take the shot. Moretti was just below us. If we were gonna get him, we'd need to take a shortcut. Shortcut? A leap of faith.
Um... This way! How was Hendrix coping with the change of plans? He was upset. And why wouldn't he be? Command wanted our friends dead. He wanted to bring Moretti in alive. But that wasn't all, was it? Where no. Hendrix... It's go go back up. Hendrix had been different since Singapore. In what way? So? No. Every way. Aggressive. Angry. He was losing perspective. And there... Something was just off. I should have known what happened. How could you have known? E even if you had, what could you have done? You seem so certain of his intentions. We all battle in our deeds. No, it's nightmare mode. We're zombies instead of humans. Can it hit me when I was behind a wall? Instantly one shot me with <laughs> The sniper's one shotting me. How? It's not insta kill gun. <laughs>
cornered him. What did Maretti say? He said that name. Same as Diaz. Deimos. He said if I wanted answers, I had to find Damien Bishop, a man we both knew from a past mission. Bishop could help stop Deimos. But first, I had to kill him. He kept saying, this isn't me. This isn't me. He kept saying Deimos made him do it. So I granted his last request. That hurt. I killed him as he asked. I did our job. It didn't sit with Hendrix. Can you blame him for his outburst? Hendrix was pissed because Moretti was our link to finding Taylor. A link I just severed and split open on a spike. And the guilt I carried all those years that I channeled inward. Hendrix channeled outward. At me. This was our chance to fix our mistake. And I fucked that up. Hendrix said I may as well have damned the world myself. I'd had enough. I knocked some sense into him. Sometimes it was the only way to get through. I told him what Moretti had told me about Bishop, Deimos, whoever the hell he was. The mention of Bishop got Hendrix's attention. Last we saw him was back in 65, 10 years ago in Ethiopia. How Bishop knew Deimos, we hadn't a clue. But we'd figure this shit out, and we'd do it together. But right then, we had bigger problems. The Egyptian army couldn't hold the refinery. Plan bomb this shithole to hell was a go. We had to get out of there. Now! This bishop that Moretti mentioned. Damien Bishop, the man who found the cure. A vaccination to make 6115 victims human again. A cure? Did it work? It should have. Something was blocking it. Bishop had this theory. He believed somewhere there was an undead brain. A single creature controlling them as a collective hive. He believed that it somehow blocked the cure. We met him in 2065 when he made the breakthrough. News traveled fast. He and a few others were kidnapped in Ethiopia. It was a joint op with Taylor's team. We were to extract Bishop from a base overrun by the dead. All right, let's go. With the dead crawling all over, we needed a distraction. Something to keep the flesh eaters occupied so we could grab Bishop. We weren't dead killers yet, so we had to be a little more creative. And lucky for us, there were plenty of NRC birds in the sky, and the NRC's dead system still worked. Laser cannons built to auto-target any hostile aircraft. So you created the diversion. And Taylor's team prepped extraction. Unfortunately, it seemed our cover wouldn't last as long as we hoped. The remaining NRC noticed the radio silence from air traffic control and had sent soldiers to investigate. Command set Xfil for a satellite station off base. We reset the dead system to target one of the automated planes circling above. Turns out the undead have a thing for giant explosions, like moths drawn to a porch lamp. And all we had to do was turn on the lights. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we couldn't exactly control the landing. Hendrix alerted Taylor the bird was down and the diversion in play. We took out the NRC and moved. Bishop was being held underground in the security station across the tarmac. Hendrix ordered weapons down. The base was crawling with NRC soldiers and undead. No need to draw any more attention to it. We crossed the tarmac. The tunnel ahead led to the security station. Um, okay then. My brother's being annoying. Hendrix took out the guards. I hacked into the system to find Bishop. Why were there NRC still at the base? It was being overrun. They needed the cure. They kidnapped Bishop's whole team and would do whatever it took to get their hands on it. They'd torture these researchers till the dead broke down the door and ripped them all to shreds if it meant they could save their people. It wasn't personal. It was self-preservation. With the secret out about Bishop's discovery, he'd become the most wanted man in the world. Um. The NRC were just the first to grab him. It was every country for itself. Why do you think we were there? The Winslow Accord wanted the same thing the NRC did. You can't rationalize anything when you're put up against the wall. <laughs> Nothing about this was rational. It was instinctual, animalistic, survival. He had been escorted to an interrogation room. We had to hurry. Behind us was an undead army. Once one got a whiff, the others would come running. Um. Yay, let's go.
Oh god, he's green. Hendricks told Bishop who we were and that we had to move, but Bishop refused to leave without the other researchers, his friends. Our instructions were specific. Bishop was our priority. We didn't like it, but Bishop refused to leave without them. It sounds like you were taking an awful risk. He said for the cure to work, he needed them. They weren't expendable. Technically, we were. In a way, you and the NRC were not so different in what you wanted and how far you were willing to go. Our method was different. Our reasoning was not. No one wants to sacrifice themselves to save the world. But you like to think if the moment came, you'd have it in you. Who was inside the cell? Lieutenant Zied Khalil, member of the Egyptian army. Back in 65, he was a guard assigned to Bishop's research station. This was how we met. Hendricks cut him down and notified Taylor we were freeing the other hostages. Taylor said we didn't have the time. The base was swarming with additional NRC forces. They weren't letting their prize go that easily. There was a tunnel full of hostile soldiers between us and our exit. A cargo elevator ahead was the only way to the surface. No telling how close the dead were behind us. The remaining Miss. NRC forces were waiting for us above. They weren't about to let their prized prisoner go. If it meant getting the cure and saving their families, they were willing to die for it. And they weren't the only ones. We'd never seen dead killers in action before. To us, it was a spectacle. To them, it was just another day in the life. Wait a minute. Do not be deceived by his lies. Remember your past. Remember when you first met John Taylor. Remember the truth. Wait, wait, this is wrong. This can't be real. I told you I met Taylor in Zurich during the 2065 Qatardist uprising. After I became a dead killer. But here I am with Taylor. And my limbs haven't been replaced yet. I'm still human. Why did you tell me that the first time I met Taylor was Zurich? Focus. You need to complete this memory. 
What was Talos' plan? Well, we were still on for Exville. But first, we had to blow the bridge. We followed Diaz. Both Undead and NRC forces were converging on our position. Paul grabbed us after the hangar. She was to take us to Moretti, so we could blow the bridge. After the bridge, we were forced inside a comm center. Moretti took point. The rendezvous with Taylor was an APC garage just ahead.
We could hear the undead screaming towards us. But that wasn't all. A robot horde was moving in. And Taylor would need some time to get the door open. You were forced into the garage. What happened there? Hendrix wanted to go back and get the other hostages. Taylor said Bishop was priority. After all, he had the cure. The rest were just... collateral. Mm, okay. What did Taylor do? Wait, he volunteered to take his team to get the others. So when we can were to I take and Bishop get in the car? We got on the APC. Bishop was the most important man in the world right now. We had to get him to exfil if it killed us. MLG turret activated. PC spun out and crashed. Hendrix moved Bishop into position. The drone evac was inbound. Once secured in the drop pod, it would return to collect. We just needed to hold back the horde. What happened? Airspace was compromised. We had to pull out. Bishop was priority. We were expendable. We heard Teddy on the cross. He was inbound and told us to hang on. No. I can't do this. I can't live this again. No. Please. I'm sorry. You must. 
No, no, please! If you wish to defeat Gamos, you must. To save the world, you must relive this. I should have died. I felt myself fade. It was over. That was the day I met John Taylor. That was the day I became a dead killer. That was the day you met Bishop, the man who found the cure, before he died at the Cairo Aquifers. Moretti told you to find him. On Moretti's instruction, we sought him out. We told him what we knew, which at the time was just a name, Deimos. He didn't know much, just that Deimos was responsible for the outbreak, and that a safe house in Singapore had a dossier on the guy. So we returned to Singapore. Little did we know, Go Julan had taken the city, and somehow gotten the undead to obey her. If we were gonna get to the safe house, we'd have to go through them. Oh, okay. The vultures, sadistic scavengers, ravaged by atrocity and time, driven by fear and insanity. We saw their victims strung up on display the moment we arrived. When forced against the wall, the impurities of man can be revealed. It was more than that. This was survivalism. When only 1% of the world's population is human, you either died and became the undead, or you survived by preying on the living. So, Greg, what happens if I die? So, I can't become infected. Mm -hmm. But she's shaking to me. These scavengers were well equipped. I suppose that's what you get when you mm. prey on your fellow man. We made a quick work of them. took point down the alley. From the sounds of it, the dead knew we were coming. Clearly, Singapore was happy to have us back in town. Oh, wait, now 
ready for this way. I would just put him out of his misery and shoot him. Overwatch confirmed the vultures were converging on the safe house. Civilians spotted on site. We didn't know if we could get through without additional collateral damage. But I want to kill. You were supposed to sneak by, not the other way. I want the mini gun. I want to spin it until I get it. Give me that mini gun. Two more spins and I'll be done. Burn I'll be a second one. Cool. I'll take it. The scavengers began realizing they weren't the only humans in the area. It was a matter of time before Gojulan knew we were here. The safe house was beyond the gardens, but the gardens belonged to the dead. They smelled us lurking above. Before Hendrix could take him out, the scavenger alerted Gojulan. She knew we were here. Reinforcements were moving on a checkpoint nearby, along with okay. more dead.